What? I thought you were still in bed. No, I'm up. I'm going to school. Right, well, I want to have a word with you, so sit down. I'm going to be late. You've got plenty of time. Sit down. Morning. Um, I'm going to get some milk. Does anybody want in? No, thanks. So what have I done wrong now? I never said you'd done anything wrong. Lots of change. Shouldn't you be at work? Well, Kathy phoned. She's going to be late in this morning. Well, you should have had a lie in. Nah, fancy some breakfast. Well, anyway, I had to get out of the house for a bit. I, I think your mum is going to tell Martin off or something. What's he done now? I don't know. I could be wrong, but I just got the feeling she didn't want me around. Anyway, I'll see you later. Right. You're a bright boy. Martin, and if you put your mind to it, you could leave school with some really good qualifications. You could even go to college. I don't want to go to college. Well, how do you know that? You've still got another four years at school. Yeah, great. All I'm trying to say is that perhaps you should be a bit more careful in, in choosing your friends. What? You want to be my friends now? No, I didn't say that. All right, I'll try. Will you? Yeah, I'm going to work a lot harder this time. Just what I wanted to hear. If you'll just put in the effort. I know, and I'm gonna. Promise. I'll go now. Don't wanna be late. Right then. Off you go. See you later. Bye. Hello. Mine? What? Come here. I'm just going to get a bit more at the cafe. I'll see you later. So, first day back at school, then? You're not going to forget me as well, are you? No. Why did Mum say something to you? She only gave me a lecture for no reason at all, did she? I remember those. It's the start of term lecture. Every new term she used to say to me, Mark, this is a very important term for you. If you don't work hard, you won't get your exams. If you won't get exams, you won't get a job. She's got a point, though. I wish I'd listened to her a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Good advice, you know. You keep yourself out of trouble. The better you do, the more choices you have. Serious. All right, see you later. All right. Hello. Where are you off to? Just going out to see how Ethel and Nelly are getting on. I was coming over to see you anyway. Guess who phoned this morning? Who's that? Our solicitor from Inquiry. They've set a date for our hearing against the Home Office. When? Um, 15th of September. Well, that's brilliant. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a way off yet, but it shows that we're getting somewhere. Oh, and the solicitor reckons that they'll probably want to settle out of court so it could be over sooner. Well, would they do that? Well, the solicitor seems to think there's a chance. Well, what are you doing here, anyway? I heard you had a little chat with Martin. Yeah. He's a good boy at heart. Just needs to stay out of trouble. Well, I hope it'll help and I hope you don't mind, but I had a few words with him as well. Really? Well... What are big brothers for, eh? Thanks. Stay to this place. Who are you two? Hello, Mum. What's going on? I've come back from my own work. Sorry. Yeah, but who's going to clear up all this mess? We didn't have time for lunch. Clear up later. Stuff. Look, where did you get that lot from? 
from, eh? Just look at it. What's all this? Oh. He's just an 11-year-old kid, Mark. He's just a kid. What's he getting himself into? I don't know, Mum. I'm going through his stuff here. I don't know what I'm going to find next. More money, jewellery, drugs. Look, I'll talk to him later, all right? Oh, we try that this morning. Well, we can try again, can't oh, we? Oh, no, I haven't got the energy. I'm sick and tired of everything. What are you talking about? You've got to keep it going. For what? Where's it going to end? Well, when we take on the home office for a start. Well, what's that going to prove? Well, it's going to clear Dad's name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and then what? We all carry on like this? No. I'm not going to go through with it. Come on, Mum, what are you talking about? No, Mark, look, Arthur's dead. It's just going to drag it all up again. I'm not going to put Martin through that. I'm not putting any of us through that. We can't stop now. Yes, we can. Anyway, what's the point? It wouldn't solve anything. It wouldn't put this family back to normal. Martin! Oi! Mark! Martin, come on! 